chaos and the chaos loves us. We have our problems, but we're too hyped to solve them. They know what's at them. Man, give us a regular. Who has a sauce? sweet? Who brings a... Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. Marcus Tyler here, Alan Smith as usual, the faithful lieutenant alongside me. On this special day, a very happy new year to you all. I hope we have a, a football match worthy of the occasion. It's Sheffield United, and they take on Bournemouth. Yeah, happy new year, Martin. I don't know if you've got any New Year's resolutions, but for these two sides, it will be to win today and enjoy a really good new year. For Sheffield United today. Well, it's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing-backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. It doesn't look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those full-backs are going to be uh, raiding forward, but if they're under the cosh, I think they'll just sit there nice and tight to the three centre-halves. Bournemouth are going to go with this team today. Brian Fraser plays alongside Harry Wilson in the wide positions. And just one up front for them today. And the referee blows his whistle. The flag was up for offside. Let's go over to Alan McAnally quickly for news of a goal in the Derby County match. It's a goal for Barnsley. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. That's good defending at the end of what was a really promising break. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Well, the hosts come into this game with some very good statistics for their record here at home. And he could get away here. And the goalkeeper's out. And he's got to the ball at the feet of the forward. Yeah, a lot to do with his good advanced starting position there. And he was in a position to close down the space quickly. Thank you for your cooperation. Reading of the play, anticipating the pass. Ryan Fraser. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Let's get it out of harm's way was the message. Goal news involving Wickham. It's a goal for Reading. 22 minutes played, 1-0. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Patient play as they try to get the goal that will put them in front. Stolen the ball in the attacking third, too. Going for goal! Very good stop here. Corner. And here's a possibility of making a chance to go in front. Corner's going to be taken short this time. Goal, Jagielka. Cleared it well. Berger. Well, pretty close, wasn't he? Despite the defender distracting him. Yeah, it's a shot to nothing. He probably didn't expect to score from there. Lema. Here's Alan McAnally now to tell us about a goal in the Bristol City game. Alan? It's a goal for Brentford. 33 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, look at that, virtually even Stevens. It's very difficult to separate these two sides, both full possession and chances created for quality. Really tight. Are we going to get a winner? I've got his angles wrong with the pass. take them on here John Fleck powerful drive close enough to suggest have another go son yeah strong shot I think the keeper saw it coming all the way though Lema
They're looking good when they attack. Got to be. Now oh, the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Sharp. Vega. The fourth of the shot has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Can put them in front here. Which he does. I think they deserve that, Martin. They've had so much of the ball last five minutes. Just before half time, and uh, they will be delighted with that. They haven't played badly, but haven't created too much. Number 10. It's Billy. That's half time at 1 0. Tough test this for the players in the second half and the referee as well, who might have a big decision to make. At the moment, he says we can play on, but that might be in doubt as the second half wears on. Well, that's a clever pass. That could be a game-winning moment to go two in front now. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. The goal from uh, Wickham. It's a second goal for Reading. 49 minutes, please. 2 0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Coming up on EA Sports, it's an FA Cup fixture. Bournemouth, they'll be hosting Huddersfield Town. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. That's a great block. Sharp. Sloppy work, really. Fraser. Diego Rico. In the clear in front of goal. Oh, a bit of finishing practice required at the next training session, I think. Yeah, definitely. Back to the drawing board. Goal news from Wickham. It's a third goal for Reading. 59 minutes played, 3-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Oh, he's failed to hit the target. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. do better than that really to beat the keeper yeah because he is a good goalkeeper good positioning corner played into the middle really commanding goalkeeper and that's easy for a player of his ability to catch the corner possession lost by Bournemouth ah oh, he's taking it away there with a very good tackle Goal news coming in for you from the Preston North End game from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Preston North End. It's been scored by Paul Gallica. The defender was trying to play out of defence and gave the ball away, leaving only the keeper to beat. 69 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Well, he's given the ball away here unnecessarily. Going for goal! Threw everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Sanderberger. He's blocked the shot well. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Arnaud Danjuma Groeneveld delivered into the box. Straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Let's check in with Alan McAnally at Huddersfield with some goal news. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 80 minutes played, 2-1. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. 
can whip it in now. And shoots! Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. Well, that's a clever pass. That's surely their last chance to get something from this game. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? The keeper's given the ball away. He's going to try his luck. He's had a bang at goal, and uh, I must say, credit for that, but nowhere near. Yeah, poor effort, really, for a flat. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper. Here's the chance. Oh, can you believe it? It is a penalty. Penalty has been awarded by the referee, and he sent off the offender here, Alan. Yeah, it's a double whammy, isn't it, for this shot? And saved! You can only put it behind for the corner. Put the corner in the middle. The real problem if he loses the ball. Make sure the pass wasn't completed. Very able to get his body in the way. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Dealt with the danger. 